we have not inherited the earth from our ancestors. We are merely borrowing it from our children. Hi, my name is Varun. I'm 10 years old. I'm supposed to act like an adult in this film, but I can't. Most of them seem really dumb. If you want to know how dumb they really are, I could go on and on and on till I end up well as an adult. But here are a few examples. Dad keeps the tap running while brushing his teeth. Keeps the shower running even when he's soaping himself. Keeps the fan running when he's not even in the room. Keeps the TV running when he's sleeping. Everything is running when we don't even need it. Wish he went running. He really needs it. He says it's all right. We can afford it. I don't think so. Every year, the rainforests are being destroyed at an alarming rate. At this rate, we should be left with none by the year 2030. What does this mean? Let me explain. No rainforest, no rain. No rain, no rivers. No electricity, no drinking water. No food, no life, no hopes. And, and Dad, Dad should know you can't, can't afford, afford to buy what is not available. available. Our kids unwittingly teach us a lot more than we're willing to learn as adults. That old sense of wonder, an ability to rekindle a vain enthusiasm no matter what. The love of friendship and warmth that have been endangered by a bleak life played out in grey apartments amid a faceless city's bustle. We have learned some from them. We took a spectrum of simple ideas to make homes, not houses. To create good neighbors and communities, not housing colonies. We thought of homes that represent a value system that needs solely to be revived, conserved, enriched with all its concerns on the environment. Who are we? We'd not be surprised if you haven't heard of us. We gain comfort in being relatively unknown. For over 10 years, we busied ourselves creating community-based approaches to urban living. An effort that has helped us bag three discerning awards, three years in succession for our environment initiatives. We've offered homes that reflect the way you are, that help you connect with neighbours who delight in your company. Who are we really? Builders and developers? Architects? Environmentalists? Alternate technologies, agents of change, maybe all of these, or maybe none. We are just working towards building communities that can self-sustain in this unpredictable future. We are Biodiversity Conservation India Limited. So what can we do to save the world? They say charity begins at home. But my teacher says, being less charitable to yourself may be a good start. <coughs> the earth's getting poorer. We're running out of water, energy, etc. Like, I've just run out of my ice cream. <laughs> but there are ways in which we can conserve our natural resources. I'm going to share some of my ideas with you. It rains for many weeks every year, right? All we have to do is to catch all this rain in a large pool or tank or something and start using it during summer. Simple! Teacher calls it rainwater harvesting. We know that like Varun's ice cream, our resources are vanishing, consumed by every single one of us thoughtlessly. BCIL across our various projects constantly implement technologies that conserve precious water. Be it recycling grey water to be used for flush and garden or implementing rainwater harvesting methods. We save over 4 million litres of water every year across our campuses. Using an electric water heater, maybe we could keep a bucket of water under the sun. 
I will get hot. Cool, eh? Can we also try a car by keeping it under the sun? Maybe we should cook food also that way. Dad could charge his phone. Maybe his laptop. Our city is growing rapidly, and unfortunately, the state's infrastructure to support this growth is struggling to catch up. We at BCIL are not blind to this. By installing our own energy sources like biomass gasifiers, we ensure 100% power supply in case of a grid breakdown. Solar grids that offer free lighting to your homes for up to 6 hours. And we have solar passive architecture elements like skylights that save a significant amount of energy during the day. There's so much more we do, like planning the microclimate of the region, thermal design and comfort of our buildings. At TZ, we've installed air conditioners, refrigerators and dishwashers that are both energy efficient and eco-friendly. We're not merely concerned about our environment, but are committed to doing something about it. I just love gardening. Mom hates it because my clothes get all dirty. But I just love it. I think everyone should grow trees. Hey, you know what I give my friends with their birthdays? Trees! Okay, actually they're little plants, which will of course be trees one day. I think you should too. There are over 50,000 trees in our Trans Indus campus alone. Not to mention the 68 species of birds, 13 species of reptiles, and a host of other flora and fauna. All our projects will be as green as we can afford to be in the space available. In a city where there's an alarming increase in the level of pollution, trees are perhaps our only hope. BCIL takes complete responsibility for the waste generated in our campuses. We have a waste treatment system that filters and ozonates the grey water to be reused for flushing and the sky gardens in each home. The future of our ideas is even more exciting. Tomorrow, our ideas will steer us into new directions. In Cook, the Scotland of India, we are creating a biodiverse medicinal park to preserve and propagate several rare endemic species of herbs and shrubs. We are also setting up a pathfinding consortium for conservation that will lead the way in rainforest protection initiatives. Here you can embark on a fascinating voyage of ecological discovery. This initiative will also see the creation of an exclusive natural heritage camp. Okay, I have a question. How many dads will it take to fix a solar water heater? None! A clever son will do! Son! Son! Get it? <laughs> our approach to our work is pretty much like Varun. Simple, curious, imaginative, filled with passion, so full of life and a strong urge to make a difference. There is a attraction to this place. So even if you go out to work, okay, you want to come back to enjoy this place. We were environment conscious, but we weren't really doing much about it. I think right now, for in our own little way, we're doing what we can. And uh, so you're living amidst nature. BCL, I think you know, it's uh, uh, their entire concept is amazing. You know the, and I'm very impressed with their continued you know involvement in this uh, in community, because the. Everything is sold off, but you know. So, but I see them still coming here, still interacting with us, trying to see how we can, you know, do more. Like we are doing a lot of work now on conserving water, uh, rainwater harvesting, you know, how to recycle rainwaters and stuff like that. They do a lot of hel stuff helping us. You know, they advise what to do. They get experts here. You know, their involvement is excellent. It shows a lot of you know commitment to that cause. It's not just a business venture. You can actually feel it, the stone radiating the heat out and keeping the heat out. So our houses are very cool. I mean, think about it. I mean, we grow wine out here and it requires a pretty decent standard temperature of around 25 to 27. And we actually have that temperature. So we really thank BCL for giving us this environment and more so of getting 
a like a set of like minded people to live here okay we really appreciate bcl for that because they could have taken commercial advantage of this property if they really wanted to where do we get such place yeah? there is such open areas a tree that I, i only seen in movies you know this guy my son actually swings on a banyan tree that you know there's uh, long yeah, roots yeah. you seen it yeah. there he actually does this and you know i also do that this kind of place you will not get anywhere there is so much we can go on about ourselves and our work but we would rather save this effort to saving our planet yes i'm like albert einstein said or is it einstein anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new Are we done? Yeah. Then can we turn these lights off, please? Lights off.